who would win in a battle between Captain Marvel and All for One? Can you? I got it. If you're a fan of both, I think you're gonna like this one. When Carol Danvers was assigned to the Pegasus Project, a lot of things happened other than a simple coffee run during an internship. It all begins with her encounter with the Tesseract's power, which causes her biology to change, giving her sort of like a hybrid physiology. From then on, Captain Marvel gains superhuman strength, agility, and speed, which are two different things, and her musculature is developed to a level where she essentially almost never gets tired. Hey, quit it! In comparison to Captain Marvel, All for One is still very much limited in a way, because even with all of his power, he's still just human. But don't worry, he won't go down that easily. If we think about this according to the rules of My Hero Academia, Captain Marvel's abilities would be a mutation or a quirk. In the original Marvel comics, the mutant rogue was able to absorb Carol's abilities, but something went wrong due to Carol's half-Cree nature, causing Carol's consciousness to also imprint on rogues. The power of All for One is a little bit similar to Rogue's if you think about it. He has the ability to take quirks and make them his own. It is therefore not impossible to think that he may even take Carol's quirks, in which case all of her abilities would be useless. What is happening to me? All is not lost. Carol's hybrid physiology has a few other advantages. She has held the Tesseract with her bare hands and was completely unharmed thanks to her superhuman durability. Near the beginning of the Captain Marvel movie, she falls through the roof of a blockbuster store, and it wasn't exactly a short fall. But guess what? She just shakes it off like she fell off her bed during a nap. And thanks to her longevity factor, her youth is just timeless, despite the fact that her original transformation took place in the 1990s. There are several quirks in All for One that serve the same purpose. He possesses the Life Force quirk of Dr. Kyudai Garaki, which considerably lengthens his life. Like Carol, he too possesses strong regenerative skills. Unfortunately, he suffered serious injuries during the fight with All Might. Thus, he would be at a tremendous disadvantage if he were to face Carol. All for One's actual physical form may have been hurt, but this won't keep him from doing things in the future. He is prepared for the worst by designating Tomura Shigaraki as his successor. Tomura becomes a vessel for All for One after the All for One quirk is transferred into his body. He has shown amazing regeneration abilities and doesn't suffer from the same health problems that All for One has. Because Carol doesn't have a backup like All for One, if she were to receive a lethal blow, she could just kinda die. Her photon blasts could be one of the most iconic powers of Captain Marvel. She has the ability to direct energy through her entire body, which she can use for a variety of purposes. Captain Marvel has used this attack against the Skrull Talos, yon rogh and even Thanos. Although, admittedly, Thanos just kind of blocked it, but we don't talk about that. Given his strength, All for One might have a chance to deflect Captain Marvel's photon blasts as well. Endeavor's Hellflame has been successfully diverted by All for One's air cannon in the past, and although the two abilities are not of the same kind, they are both very powerful. More importantly, during his conflict with Deku, All for One, while inhabiting Shigaraki's body, was seen using a new quirk called Reflect. He was able to totally deflect one of Deku's smashes thanks to this, badly hurting him. He probably could do the same with Carol. While Carol would probably absorb her own power if it were directed at her, All for One's skill could just deprive her of many of her weapons. Captain Marvel enters binary mode when she's at her strongest. In this form, she's practically invulnerable, with immeasurable strength and durability. During the battle in Avengers Endgame, Carol destroys Thanos' ship with her binary form. She also takes a headbutt from Thanos, brushing it off like it was nothing. Being a specialist tends to be better than being a jack of all trades, but All for One is the exception to that rule. He possesses a lot of quirks that aren't that difficult to master, and because of this, he has a combat style that many opponents would find surprising. Carol might not be any different, and even in binary mode, All for One might still catch her off guard. Also, in What If, Captain Marvel pushes Infinity Ultron into the core of Xandar in an effort to kill him, but he kills her instead using the Infinity Gauntlet. Although it seems impossible for All for One to get that kind of power, it is worth noting that Carol isn't exactly immortal. Carol Danvers was a soldier even before she turned into a superhero. She has been training since she was a child, and her fortitude in the face of prejudice against her because of her gender is equally as noteworthy as her abilities. 
She's a master engineer and pilot, and she's also quite skilled in combat. So, this kind of experience would really come in handy in a fight with All for One. The biggest advantage All for One has over Carol is his intellect. As All Might's greatest enemy, he hunts down Nanashimura's grandson, transforms him into Tomura Shigaraki, and uses him against the symbol of peace. The point here is that he can manipulate someone if he wants to. So we know that the Kree were successful in fooling Carol for a long time despite the fact that she isn't exactly easy to manipulate or influence. If All for One was Captain Marvel's enemy, all of her weaknesses as a human being would be exposed by him, and he would exploit them, making her much easier to beat. Well, I know both characters have great abilities, but I think my personal favorite is All for One. But uh, who do you think would win in a clash between the two? Let me know in the comments below, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.